I died. Tell all, my name's King Shush and welcome back to the Herb Simpson set here on Game Boy Advance. In the last episode, I said that I was going to be getting popularity 4. I have managed to achieve that now. So I'm going to complete the running from a law mission, which means then we can complete Carnival and then hopefully finish this chapter up. Now, I'm going to quickly apologise if you can hear a slight possible noise in the background. Right now, I've actually got a fan running in the background. It's a heat wave right now where I am. Oh, my plant's dying. No. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Where is God? There he is. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're pretty well respected around Minneapolis, aren't you? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Can't pay for transportation, unfortunately. It's cool, man. I got me on ride. My family owns a couple of fan boats. I'll just cruise down out of there on one of them. Thanks, Billion. No problem. Just give him the letter when you're ready. Find a map to Paradise Island and bring the map to him. Where the fuck do I find a map for that? Not gonna lie, I essentially have a walk from my phone to try and figure out how to do some of this stuff in case I get stuck. And apparently, yeah, the map is up here. There we go. There you go, buddy. So sit, okay, dude. The fan boat express is heading out to Paradise Island or bust. Uh, talk to that up. Uh, okay, you vanished. I'm gonna talk to Dan anyway. You must have done something right, Kingfish. I just got a call from the governor. He put a hold on the running law until has a chance to review it. Yes, finally. Way to go. Yeehaw, I'm gonna run somewhere in celebration. Be my guest, or you could take a ride in one of those fan boats the majority of family owns. I saw him out on his way out and he gave me the keys to one, said I could borrow it until he returned. You'd let me use it? Sure, I don't have any police business out there on the river. Be my guest. Why? What? I thought he was gonna- oh, he just went and delivered the letter, didn't he? There it is. Sweet. I don't think I can change the colour of it, though. Oh god, this is a bit slidey. Right, so now we're gonna sail the seven seas. This is brilliant. I truly am becoming a pyro. Uh, this is really hard to control, by the way. I just want to point that out. So, I need to get to here, I think. I'm not really sure. There we go. Hi, mister. Hello. You sell things. Okay, then. Bamboo stuff. That's kind of cool. I would buy it, but I've not really got much money right now in the game, so I don't really want to risk that. It's like a nice little island here. I like it. Oh, some here. Fucking sizzle bit. I can't do anything with them, though. Ah, found him. Nailed it. Ah, this is so hard to control. Finally, back on dry goddamn land. I need to go find Moxie. There you are. There you go. You can have this. Look at this thing. That's great. Thanks, Kingfish. Oh, no. I'm, yeah. Everything is set, the show must go on. Hold your horseshoes, Kingfish. What about my type of blocker? Misty's agreed to do it. Misty, hmm. She's one of those Richies, but she's the best one for the job. So? So you said this job well done, Kingfish. The show will go on. The carnival will get a facelift. You have free run of the carnival grounds. Try out some of the games, they're wild. Been there, done that. Thanks, Roxana. No, thank you. I can't wait to start teaching my Nutria how to break dance. Cool. Right, okie dokie, it's a couple of days later, I had to go do some stuff, and I'm back to recording again. Uh, apparently, I actually looked it up, and apparently the next person I need to go and see is Teresa Bullhorn, and I've got to do something to do with the cinema, which I do actually kind of remember this quest, but I'm not sure where she actually is, to be honest, so I'm just using Turbo Mode to try and find her. There you are. Kingfish, hello. So wonderful to see you in such dull and dreary times. Sounds like someone's got a case of the thrones. Let's turn that throne upside down! Uh, um, yes, I fully admit it. Life just hasn't been the same since I started managing the cinema. You mean you don't enjoy eating popcorn anymore? No, I don't enjoy movies anymore. Now that Daddy Big Bucks owns my cinema, he just wants to shift thumbs about himself over and over. Bummer. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I thought maybe you might have some ideas. Uh, send me to the moon? Hmm, a good idea, but far too expensive. Let me know when you come up with anything else. Give up and join the dark side? No, that's the last thing we should be doing. Let me know if you have any decent ideas, huh? Send him to the moon? <laughs> she keeps saying the same idea again and again and again. That actually puts a thingy down, that's a bit weird. Put on a satirical stage for an environment. Yes, that's perfect. We'll put on a play that puts that Daddy Big Bucks know this town feels bad. I read that wrong, but oh well. Who's gonna write this play? I've got that coverage. Don't worry, but there's plenty of other things that need to be signed out. Well, good luck. Hold on, buddy. I need you to find two actors and five good props. Props? Huh? What kind of props? Something with flair, drama, panache, you know, decorative items. Try shopping around. Okay, I'm on it. 
One last thing, spread the word. We need an audience, so let's get that. Uh, so start getting friendly with people. Meet me in the cinema lobby when you're ready to go. If this is a fucking quest where, fuck off. This is one of those goddamn quests where I've got to get like popularity fucking seventy. Hurt skin. Popularity goddamn fifty. That's not too bad. I have to get like nine more or something. And I've got to be friends with Dusty Hog and Supernova. How'd you like to start to play? A play? Me? I don't know. Who would I be playing? Daddy Big Bucks. Are you kidding? Dang man, sign me up. Any excuse for controversy is okay with me. Sweet, that's, that, that's Dusty Hog done. That's a Daddy Big Bucks. No, that's just fucking handy. I need to make friends with him and her and she's right next to him. Boom. Hey, I'd like to sign up for her. Oh gosh, am I trying to take drama class? Now you're offering me a part? As who? Really good. I'll totally do it. I can borrow an ugly suit from my mom. Shots fucking fired. <laughs> Straight fire right there. Ooh. I just got to use Bullhorn to 100 because I'm trying to get Poplar up and they're saying this. You're such an interest in the cinema, Kingfish. Next time you get the chance, you check out the projection booth in the cinema. And I know what that means. That Oh, you don't you don't actually get that, do you? It pretty much means I've just unlocked like a new little secret customised area in the cinema, which is pretty cool. So I might go and check that out soon. Oh, another one. Fucking, I'm on fire today. <laughs> There's an urban legend about a man who lived in one of Glass Town's trash cans. No put much darkness about myself. I know exactly what that is as well. I actually remember where a lot of the different secret areas are. I didn't think that she was the one who gave it you though, I thought it was someone else. I have the popularity done and I've managed to convince Dr. Hug and Supernova to perform, so now I need to decorate the stage, which from what I remember, I need to do a bunch of paintings, so I'm probably going to need to buy an easel again, because I don't remember if I got rid of mine or not, and then I have to decorate it, and then that should be the last part of that. But first of all, I thought I'd quickly show you guys the secret areas, and this is the trash can she was talking about. How can a burglar alarm go off in a trash can? You can actually customise these, like you can put items in them if you want to, they're like, they're like extra living spaces. So there's one in there and then there's also one down here at the cinema as well. You go in the back area and voila, you get this little cool place as well. Uh, I think I broke the game. I, mm, okay, cool. We're gonna play the rest of the game in silence now. That's great. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Right, ugly dog okay, here. We're here at the cinema and I painted a shit ton of paintings. Yep, which should allow me to decorate the stage. Right, I can't put more paintings on, so I'm just gonna put a green fucking meteorite though, because why not? I mean, I wanted to keep that in order to unlock another social fucking. I was gonna say social space. Another, I don't know, thing. Anyway, fuck it. Why is it still playing the same music? No, it's like a horror fucking show. What the hell? Right, I've done everything I need to do on that, and now apparently I just need to attend the play. I don't know how though. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Cool. I did it. <laughs> How are you doing, Kingfish? The stage is set and the play is cast. And I finished rasting it. Uh, ra rasting? What? <laughs> I finished rasting a piece I got a musical master of man. Guaranteed to make Daddy be hotter than a flaming fiddle. Let the show begin. Oh, let the fun begin more like. Let's do this. I thought I had to attend a red carpet meeting or something. Okay. This is interesting. Okay then. Okay then. Go complete, talk to Street to Bullhorn. I get the feeling that did absolutely nothing but aggravating. Hello. How are you doing, Kingfish? What happened? Terry? Did you call it Terry? That's kind of funny. Daddy Big Bucks is absolutely flummoxed by that play. I guess he's not a fan of musicals. Where did he go? I'm not sure. He's split in a hurry, mumbling something about going back to the beginning and owning it all. Back to the beginning? Probably has something to do with the secret project he's, he's been working on on the roof of King Tower. Everyone's been talking about it. Crazy. Thanks, Teresa. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a party. Ca I have a cast party to throw. I could have swore there was like a red carpet thing. Or am I thinking of something else? Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode here, so it's not going on a little bit too long. Now, I think the next, uh, like the next couple of missions is a sequential event because I've not been able to find anyone that actually has any missions for me. And I know that Luther Big Bucks is currently at Paradise Island because that's actually the start of the next quest, and he will not move from that area. He's constantly there. So I thought, you know what? Instead of going over there and it's starting a quest off and doing a lot of stuff and having the video going too long, I'll just leave it here and do that in the next episode. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to slap that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Pip-pip-toodaloo!